I'm Catherine Speglia, the technology editor at RCR Wireless News. Today, I'm joined by Keith Allen, who looks after product line management for Cloud Packet Core at Nokia. Good to talk to you, Catherine. Cloud Packet Core is Nokia's solution for packet cores, but I know that 5G is going to place different requirements on the packet core itself. So can you just walk me through what some of those requirements might be? Yes, and the key with 5G is it wants to provide everything. So any access, whether it's wireline or wireless access, but while doing all those different types of connections so that you can get access to any service anywhere, you wanna make sure you bring it all back into a common core for the service provider to make it effective and make it very easy to expand the network as the service demand goes and expand it to where it's needed, when it's needed. And it has to be any service. So whether it's voice, internet services, machine to machine, the internet of things, a lot of enterprise industrial IoT is starting to uh, really go with industry 4.0 as well. And then for the service provider providing that service, to provide it anywhere, they have to have the capability to provide it on any type of platform. So they have to do virtual network functions, container network functions, physical network functions, prepackaged uh, boxes that they can take and drop in a hut far out in the network so that everything's just ready to go, any service, anywhere. And that's a real challenge with 5G, but it's the benefit of 5G for the service provider being able to converge everything on one network. Cloud native is a term often used to describe the core network, but what does cloud native actually mean for Nokia's packet core and what are the benefits it'll bring to service providers? Well, it gives flexibility. So you're able to disaggregate the software, uh, separate the control plane and the user plane and put the pieces of the network exactly where you need it at the right scale and adapt it as the network requirements change and the service requirements change. So having a highly distributed deployment where the user plane is very close to the end user so they can have incredibly low latency services while having a lot of centralized aggregated services to keep the operational cost of the network down. And the one thing that's common that's been true since 3G and 4G and now 5G is the demand and the throughput and the amount of traffic going on that network continues to grow incredibly quickly. So while moving it to a cloud native platform, which is more compute focused and compute centric, you'd have to have to make sure that your cloud packet core has the ability to uh, do very well in the user plane and provide those incredibly high levels of throughput. And the other thing about cloud native networks is it gives you an inherent serviceability and upgradeability, the flexibility to adapt, constantly evolve, constantly deploy new services is a key part. And to do that effectively, you need automation. So automation from the first installation when you find out you need something somewhere to managing the network and figuring out, oh, what do I have to do? How do I tune it? How do I get new services deployed? And doing all that in a very large distributed network and adding new functions like mobile edge complete computing so that you can put the services delivering it to the customers exactly where they need it. It seems that 5G can be viewed as a step change compared to previous generations of cellular technology. What would you outline as some of the key takeaways for the design principles of a 5G packet core? Well, to design a 5G packet core, you have to give the ability to, to deploy without any limitations. So being able to deploy any type of network function over any type of technology anywhere in the network so that it is incredibly flexible and able to meet the demands of the users. And then as time as technology evolves, being able to be agnostic and being able to deploy it on any type of cloud your own private cloud, public clouds, private public clouds. And so you can make the best uses because you may use your private cloud inside in country, but you may use external public clouds out of your country to again, extend the service right out to where the users are. And you know, at the end of the day, you build a packet core network to get service revenue and make profit. <laughs> so it has to be profitable to get execute on those opportunities. So being able to provide all different service types, 
being very flexible. So as the service demand changes and grows and think the rate of change is always increasing, then you have to be able to react very quickly and you need the flexibility and the scalability to do that. And while doing all that, having all these things changing in the network, it has to evolve with confidence so that you can provide very reliable services to your end customers because the fact you're being very flexible and managing all these things in real time and changing it and automating it, et cetera, the end customer still wants that service level guarantee that it's always going to be there. It's always going to be performing how they expect and that you can do all that while managing the network with one set of operational processes and things to keep your costs down, but allow you to make sure the customer service is the best it can be. Keith, thanks so much for being here today and telling me more about designing a 5G packet core. Thanks. It was nice talking to you today.